In this video, we will learn how to set up and apply multi-step frequency and multi-step acceleration deceleration time on IS-7. Multi-step control is applied in a wide variety of facilities, and depending on the characteristics of the facility, various speed and acceleration and deceleration time is implemented in stages to optimize the operation of the facility. Applicable loads include conveyors, fans, pumps, cranes, elevators, etc. The lift is a facility that carries loads from the automation line and travels up and down. This facility is operated at a high speed when the system is first started. In the vicinity of the stop position, it is operated at a low speed and then stopped. In this case, you can set different acceleration and deceleration times during rise and during descent. When the item is loaded onto the pallet, you can set slower acceleration and deceleration times. When it is empty, you can set quick acceleration and deceleration times. The change in speed changes the speed of the motor as the pallet touches the sensor and the contact signal enters drive. Let's learn how to set up multi-step frequency and multi-step acceleration and deceleration functions. The multi-step control consists of two things. They are defying multi-function terminals and speed setting or acceleration deceleration time setting. Let's learn about defying multi-function terminals. Defying the multi-function terminal is a function that is performed when a signal is entered into the terminal. This function can be set at 65 to 72 of the in-group. The terminal P5, P6, and P7 are set to speed L, speed M, and speed H by default. In this video, the multifunction terminals for multi-step acceleration deceleration are set as XCEL L and XCEL M on P4 and P8. The settings for multifunction terminals speed L, M, and H operate by binary sequences. The following table shows the input sequence for each single digit. You can also check it on the keypad display. When terminal P5 for multi-step frequency, which is speed L, is on, it is step frequency 1. When the terminal P6, which is speed M, is on, this is step frequency 2. When the terminal P7, which is speed H, is on, this is step frequency 4. This means that the control is determined by the input combinations of the terminals. Additionally, to implement steps frequency 3, 5, 6, and 7, Turn on the combinations of terminal P5, P6, and P7. Multi-step acceleration deceleration also operates in the same sequence. Therefore, steps 1, 2, and 3 work by the input combinations of XCEL, L, and M. The input status of the multi-step acceleration deceleration is not displayed on the keypad, but you can check the input status through the DI status parameter. Let's find out about the frequency setting for each step by the signal combinations. The terminal P5 means step 1, and the frequency setting for step 1 is set at BAS 50 step frequency 1. P6 stands for Step 2. The frequency setting for Step 2 is set to BAS 51 Step Frequency 2. 
if the terminal P5 and P6 enter simultaneously, this means step 3 and the frequency setting for step 3 is set to BAS52 step frequency 3. The terminal P7 stands for step 4, and the frequency setting for step 4 is set to BAS53 step frequency 4. This series of combinations allows you to set the speed of each step up to BAS56 step frequency 7. Let's find out about the settings for multi-step acceleration deceleration. The terminal P4, which is XCELL, stands for step 1 and sets the multi-stage acceleration deceleration to BAS70 accelerate time 1 and BAS71 decelerate time 1. The terminal P8, which is XCELM, stands for step 2 and multi-step acceleration deceleration for step 2 is set to BAS72 accelerate time 2 and BAS73 decelerate time 2. If the terminal P4 and P8 are entered at the same time, it is set to multi-step 3 and reflects the acceleration and deceleration time set at BAS74 Accelerate time 3 and BAS75 Decelerate time 3. To check the status of the digital input of the terminal on keypad window, select 7 DI status at CNF 23. Alternatively, it can be checked in in-group 90 DI status in parameter mode. This parameter shows the status of the input by bit. It displays the input status of the terminals P1 to P7 from the right to the left. With this bit, you can check if the multi-step signal is entered correctly. Let's look at the sequence at the lift load according to the input status with a multi-step test. The rising motion is operated by forward operation. Likewise, falling motion is operated by reverse operation. Step 1 of multi-step frequency is 55 Hz and step 2 is 10 Hz respectively. When the lift rises, we will apply the normal acceleration and deceleration time set by DRV 3 and 4. When the lift falls, we will apply the step 1 of multi-step accelerate decelerate. The lift works by terminal inputs on the screen. We have learned about multi-step control functions. 